Rich Galassini, and I want to welcome you to another episode of Piano Tastings. Piano Tastings is where we explore all the things that make pianos unique and beautiful. Today, I'm at NAM. NAM is the National Association of Music Merchants Convention. It's in Anaheim, California, and it's where vendors, dealers, and all those who support them come together. And today, I have a special guest. All right. Hi. Uh, I'm <laughs> Owen Lovell. I'm an associate professor of piano at the University of Wisconsin in Eau Claire, Wisconsin, the western side of the state. Um, and when I'm not uh, teaching lessons and playing concerts, I'm a, a really avid piano geek, and I sort of feed this as the piano review editor for Larry Fine's Acoustic and Digital Piano Buyer, which is both online at uh, www.pianobuyer.com. Um, so there's an online component, and then uh, we're a book as well, published twice a year that you can purchase um, on Amazon or at the Piano Buyer site and other places as well. So, oh, and let me ask you a few questions. Sure. Um, obviously, you're a wonderful pianist. I've heard you play many times. We've met several times over the years. You've visited Cunningham Piano Company. We've met here. Um, how did you get involved with the Piano Buyer? Oh, this is, this is a funny story. Um, I was on the Piano World Internet Forum. Mm -hmm. um, it was one of the few places where I could talk about you know, different brands of pianos and, and not have my friends roll their eyes at me for, for just being such a piano geek. Um, and at, at one point, there was a call for uh, professional pianist reviewers on the forum. And mm -hmm. so I sort of answered that want ad on the internet. Um, and so I was, I was hired to write uh, a review of some, some different pianos from Czechoslovakia and America. And I guess they were, uh, Larry was happy enough with that experience that I continued to write reviews. And now um, I'm on the other side of the publication. Uh, when I'm not writing the reviews myself, I am selecting other professional pianists to go and do some of our inset reviews that we have in each uh, individual issue on specific brands or specific models. And that's something that gives the piano buyer an awful lot of credibility. Now, Larry Fine has been a mainstay in the community. Uh, he's been a piano technician and rebuilder. He, he started his career way back in the 70s, way back. And uh, the very first book that he came out with called The Piano Book was published in 1988. There are, yeah, there are four editions of it Thank going you. back to the 80s. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And now, this is published twice a year and is available on the internet. Right. And what I love about it is this is really, truly third-party testimonial. It's third-party independent reviews. Um, right. We try to be very careful about yes. that because, you know, in this industry, um, it's an industry where everybody knows everybody. So to have credibility and to try re really to be objective, um, you, you have to be kind of out of the industry in a way. So Larry doesn't sell pianos. Mm -hmm. I don't sell pianos. I've never worked in the retail side of the industry. Um, you know, it's important to me to see the, the piano retail side flourish. But, uh, you know, the, the real point of the book and the real point of the, the piano book before it and the piano buyer now is, is really to, to educate consumers, to help them make a decision about something that such a lasting thing as buying a piano and such an expensive thing to have as a discretionary purchase, which we hope is not always a discretionary purchase, but an educational tool that a lot of people elect to have in their home. So Fantastic. Well said. I've got a couple more questions. Please. For now, for someone who's choosing their first piano, Obviously, we do have the piano buyer right here. Right. So this is the fall 2014. It comes out every six months. If you were going to give a piece of advice to someone who's just looking for their first piano, what mm -hmm. would it be? Oh, wow. Yeah. Um, well, inevitably, you're going to go online to do research about any big purchase you're going to make. Mm -hmm. It's just a, it's a sign of the times. You're going to find uh, the piano buyer. You're going to find Piano World. You're going to find a lot of different sources of information. So. You know, if you're going to be making a four or five figure purchase, I think you really have to take the time to educate yourself about what you're buying, just as you would if you were buying a car. Sure. So, you know, when we look at the piano buyer, what does it offer to a first time buyer is an explanation of where pianos come from in the world. Um, it offers a pricing guide that's updated every six months with, you know, what the retail price is, and then a different price that we publish that kind of levels the playing field. because. First-time buyers may not know that the, the MSRP price is wildly variable from maker to maker. So we kind of done some homework to try to level the playing field and educate consumers about what's a good deal. Um, we have articles about every brand of piano that's offered for sale new in the U.S. Mm -hmm. um, and there's even buyer's advice in there for people that are looking for a used piano and what kinds of things that they can see in the stores and what kind of sales talk they're will they, they may experience in their travels and what's important and what's not. Because for a lot of in a lot of cases, we have 
parents that may not have a great music education want to provide a good music education for their kids, right. but just don't have a lot of experience around that. So, um, with with something of you know this expensive and this lasting, it's just a, I think a great resource for those first time buyers. Yeah, thank you. That was also very well said. And the one thing that we do want to always remember is that whether you're a beginner, whether you're an intermediate or an advanced player, if you're choosing a piano, play it. Am I right? Oh, of course. Find the piano that you enjoy. Go and play the instrument you're going to choose. Because even instrument to instrument, now uh, there's some variability. Absolutely. Um, you know, if, if you don't have to be an expert pianist, you just have to be perceptive. And you can put pianos that are famous for being really consistent right next to each other, and, and you'll have a preference of one over the other. So, in, in addition to the information that you'll read and the things that you'll learn online, you have to experience it. it you know, this is an art form, and you have to experience it with that kind of that kind of mindset. That you know, you have to love the touch, you have to love the tone, you have to be able to afford what you're going to do, and you have, and you're going to live with it for generations. So you have to like the way that it looks. It all matters, and it's all it's. As long as you're willing to take your time and mm -hmm. play a lot of instruments and take a little bit of time to educate yourself, you'll feel like you got a good deal and that you learned about it and that you really are going to feel good about something that could be in your home and in your family for 50 to 100 years or more. One last question. Mm. So what about for the family where nobody plays? What piece of advice do you have for them? Well, it helps sometimes if, if you have... Uh, if the salespeople can demonstrate the piano for you well, so if you can see whether or not you can make an appointment with a salesperson who can play, that's helpful. Um, sometimes teachers, uh, dealing with teachers can be helpful um, if you've narrowed it down to one or two pianos and, and you want to see about inviting the teacher along to try them out, um, as long as you're sure that there's not any sort of pre-existing uh, association between the teacher and a particular store, trying to steer in one direction or the other. Mm -hmm. They can provide input. Um, and even just a friend who plays, bring a friend yeah, who plays. Yeah, uh, bring a friend who plays, absolutely. The most interesting thing that I've heard is that people who have not chosen piano before say to me, well, I, I, I don't play, how can I choose a piano? How can I do that? And I, I yeah. say to them, you might not be a gourmet chef, but that doesn't mean that you can't tell what food tastes good to you. Right. The same is true for piano. Owen is a fantastic player, I've heard him play before. If this is your first piano, as long as you have a friend, a teacher, uh, perhaps a staff member at the store where you are, who can play it, you'll discern differences between them, and you very well may have an, a, yeah. you know, an affinity for one piano or the other. Yeah. Right. When I go to test pianos, Rich, uh, I'll, I'll go. I'll bring some notes. I'll bring a notepad with me. Mm -hmm. I won't sit there and take notes while I'm playing the piano. But right after, I will. I'll just jot down a few things to help remember that experience. Awesome. I've brought little recorders with me, like a lot of people have camcorders, like what we're using today. And sometimes I'll bring those along every now and then just to keep a record. But it's not really something that we should be afraid of. I think a lot of the piano industry is painted with a stigma that you know all piano salesmen are really really tough to deal with, but that's really been the exception to the rule in, in a lot of my case. So I think as long as consumers are willing to be educated about what they're, what they're going to experience before they get there through things like the Piano Buyer, I think it'll be a great experience really for all involved. And you can find more information about the Piano Buyer by going to www.pianobuyer.com. Owen, I want to thank you for taking the time out of your busy schedule here at NAMM to come and talk to me. It was great to see you Sure. Uh, and great to talk to you. Do you have any parting last words? Um, no, I just we hope you log on to the site and enjoy awesome. it. And you know, thanks for watching the Piano Tastings video. And Rich, it's always a pleasure. Always a pleasure. Thank you for watching another episode of Piano Tastings. And remember, put your comments below. We'd love to hear your feedback. Tell us what you think. If you have any questions for Owen, put them down, and I'll yeah. make sure that he gets them. The uh, email address for me at the Piano Buyer is owen at pianobuyer.com. So feel free to fire away with any questions you have. Thanks again for watching.